Free What is up everyone, my name is Pudgy Boy, and welcome to the first of many Call of Duty Ghosts commentary for Free For All, and probably other games as well. Uh, this will be my very first uh, commentary for multiplayer match guys, I do hope you enjoy it. I'll just give some general tips for Free For All uh, and Call of Duty multiplayer in general. Um, I'm pretty sure as a future ones I plan to do, uh, more teeter onto domination and other kind of game types, and I might even just talk about random stuff too as well. Um, hopefully it's entertaining for you guys to listen and watch. The biggest thing I noticed with Free For All for Call of Duty Ghosts is that you kind of need to find a location and kind of hunker down there and essentially camp it, in quotes, uh, essentially protect all the entrances, and from there, if it's a, a, pretty, a particular hotspot, such as the bar on Warhawk or the apartment in the same area, uh, as you can tell, I see it probably right behind, it's right behind me essentially at this point. Uh, there's a lot of foot traffic going around and most of the time the players will come to you because in most cases other players are just camping so much in a, a single spot. Um, I feel like the kind of camping I'm doing in Free For All is justified just because you're constantly moving from each entrance and you really can't it's not just that one spot where you're prone and you're shooting, sniping people. That's not fun. Uh, at least for me. Um, uh, we will put the list of my perks, weapons, and other things in the description below. But two perks I must highlight for free for all, as you guys could, as you guys just heard momentarily, is awareness, which essentially makes footsteps a lot louder and nullifies that silence. And the other one is stalker. Once I put stock on, uh, this was for my KD just went through the roof. Uh, the ratio was pretty much at that point like three to one. I, I think before I was uh, my total overall KD ratio was 0.8. Now it's about like point 1.8, 1.9 with addition of stalker and just being a little bit more aware of the game. So uh, stalker will definitely give you the advantage you need, in, especially in free for all. My main focus really is to get to the bar because uh, at this point in the apartment I just don't do so well and as you guys can tell in the beginning, uh, first few minutes I pretty much have a one-on-one -on -one ratio, just kill someone I die. That's not what you want to do in free-for-all, uh, especially with all the snipers out there, uh, or in this game especially. Uh, once I kind of hunker down in the bar you'll see me just, once I get that first kill streak I kind of just go through the roof, I can't think of another word. Um, but with that. Uh, the biggest thing for free for all uh, I've noticed kind of is just to you know hunker down like I mentioned before you gotta hunker down you gotta find a spot um, uh, you know in Warhawk in this map as you can as you guys can see or well, you'll see later on the bar is probably the best place and I just constantly keep going for the bar because I know once I you know once I get the location down that's that's it's gonna be game over for everyone else. For free for all as well, uh, I, I highly recommend using the assault package. It will encourage you to stay alive, to be a bit more precautious, and once you do get, get those kill streaks, it's going to help you a lot. Because really, this game mode, it's all about killing, so might as well get that incentive in there. Um, with just two guys, uh, you know, if you have any feedback, let me know, you know if I'm doing anything wrong, or if you feel like you know this perk would be better if I'm just playing suck, let me know uh, in the comments below. I believe this is the point where I start to actually pick up the pace, and uh, I pretty much uh, I pretty much have a solid foundation within the bar. There are three essential three entrances essentially. Most people come through the front entrance of the bar, as you guys can see right there. And I don't know how I didn't notice that guy. Um, some most times people are going most time people to go down the the window area. You can see them running down because they just completely negate the bar. I don't know why and rarely do you see people come out that front door. Uh, I do put a sentry gun out there uh, in, in the uh, once I do get my kill streaks going because essentially it does protect that area. The biggest thing is uh, the kill streaks I have, the IMS, the sentry gun, and the hind, they all kind of provide, a, uh, essentially kind of watch my six for the most part. The IMS watching the door, I eventually put the sentry gun in, on the other door, and then the hind just does its thing. As I start to pick up the pace, you guys will start to see that I get more and more kill streaks. Right there, I get the sentry gun, and then eventually, uh, soon I think in a few seconds, I'll get the hind. Um, so the bar is essential, I believe, in Warhawk, uh, especially for Brawl to to win. Because uh, within this point, I was pretty much kind of underlining fourth, fifth, 
and then once I got into the bar, once I had everything settled, I got to first within a matter of minutes, just like a minute and a half, I think so. Uh, it's very important, especially in free for all, to find an area, very, uh, very traffic-filled area, and just mow down everyone that you see. Um, got my sentry gun out there, but uh, yeah, I'll, uh, guys, I'll let you know that I'll continue putting up uh, these Call of Duty commentaries. This one's once again, it's a bit archaic. I do apologize about the the mic and the sounds and just uh, just how everything looks, everything sounds kind of ghetto or looks kind of ghetto. But uh, as I get better at editing videos and setting everything up, I'll be better production. Also, plan to do Halo 4 videos and multiplayer along with Titanfall. Eventually, once I get a hard drive, so dumb. But uh, yeah, just uh, Call of Duty goes still a lot of fun to me. Uh, even though, even if I lose, I still set a goal uh, to myself every match to see if I can kill this guy so many times, or see if I can at least get this kill streak or set you know this amount of points. With that, guys, I pretty much won this game. Uh, just got another kill. Just need one more to finish off the game. Please let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I greatly appreciate it whether you know I could use a different gun or I can use a different perk to kind of enhance my game or if I suck let me know or if the strategy blows whatever you guys think please let me know uh, I'll be uh, at least posting a video hopefully every week with Call of Duty commentary and possibly Titanfall, Halo, etc because I love first person shooters let's end it off with a sick beat thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys next time